I will be talking to you about why I believe you are perfectly placed right now to thrive under COVID-19, which might be slightly challenging for you to hear right now, but bear with me. So I'm Rachel Smith, business grower, and I work with female entrepreneurs to grow their massively brilliant, profitable businesses. My secret powers are money, mindset, uh, mindset and getting my amazing clients into action. And I've been really busy over the last couple of weeks talking to my clients and this has been at the forefront of many of the conversations that I've had with my awesome clients. And as entrepreneurs, so whether or not you recognise yourself as an entrepreneur or a business owner, you are actually an entrepreneur and to be to be an entrepreneur and to succeed as an entrepreneur and to continue to be an entrepreneur is really quite a skill uh, and it's not for everybody and um, this is why I believe that you've got specific skill sets right now that are going to help you to thrive during these challenging times and it depends where you are when you receive this message if you are ready to receive it and if you're not i'd say that's fine come back and listen to it again or to ponder this what i'm sharing with you and um just sit on it for a little bit but what I, what i've got to share is basically really essential for you to understand is that as an entrepreneur you have a unique set of skills and experiences that other people haven't got. As an entrepreneur, you have already taken risk. You have moved away more likely than not. You have moved away from probably quite a safe career in order to follow your dreams and to create your business. That isn't for everybody. If it was, we would see a whole load of um, new entrepreneurs joining us all the time which we do but you know there'd be a mass exit wouldn't there because if you think about what an entrepreneur means is that you get to run your own business on your own terms and you get to generate as much money as you want and the reasons why i believe you're perfectly placed right now to thrive is because of the unique skills that you have as an entrepreneur as i said you've already taken risks You've already taken that enormous leap. You've started to build that belief in yourself, in your ability to achieve your desired goals. And you also understand that even with the best laid out plans, that being an entrepreneur is not a straight line to success. It is a, uh, it is like a crazy line to success. And you know as an entrepreneur that actually, that you will try things and some things will work and other things will, they won't just fail, they will maybe blow up in your face. But as an entrepreneur, you have the ability to, to overcome that. You have the ability and the, and the resilience within you to think, oh my gosh, you know, okay, that didn't work. I'll pick myself back up again and off you go. And it might not be immediate, but it is something that you have the ability to do and you've had the experience of. And it is a very unique um, role to be an entrepreneur. You know, not many people in their careers will have the exposure of this massive personal journey that you go on as an entrepreneur. Morning, Debbie, lovely to see you here. But yeah, so give me some thumbs up if this is resonating with you. Hi Morgan, lovely to see you here. Two of my entrepreneurial clients, absolutely amazing to see you here. So um, you guys have been hearing me say this over and over and over during the weeks and it's really just to share that bigger message to my wider audience is that as an, as an entrepreneur you have got that resilience, you are, um, you are tuned to take risks and you are able to react really quickly. Now, we are in really unusual circumstances during COVID-19, that's for sure. This is unprecedented. It's all of those words that we've seen and heard and maybe even spoken ourselves. You know, today I've stood in a queue for the supermarket for an hour 
um, and then I came home it took me another 40 minutes to put everything away by the time I washed everything and put it away and cleaned everything again you know it is really really challenging but even that for any, every single person we we've just adapted and we've just got on with it haven't we and it, this is what happens when you're an entrepreneur is that you know things work really brilliantly and it's like great that's amazing you build on that success you move forward things don't work particularly well you know you, you go through whatever process you go through in terms of like, oh my God, that didn't work, or but you move on. And it doesn't stop you from showing up and um, taking more risks and going out there and trying things again. And that's why I believe as entrepreneurs, however scary COVID-19 is, is that actually as, a, and as an entrepreneur, as a female business owner, you have the skills to thrive already. And one of the things that I've been saying to my guys, one of the things I want for you to think about is when you look back in December 2020, I want you to think about right now, I want you to think about what you want to be thinking about in 2020, at the end of 2020, you know, looking back on this period of time, how do you want to have responded in your business? How do you want to you know be looking back and go oh my god i absolutely you know yes i was stuck for a moment i was frozen for a moment i've gone through a period of worry and doubt and all and and being scared you know they're all like essential human feelings and emotions that we're all feeling during this time but how you know you get to choose right now or when you're ready but you get to choose how you show up you get to choose how you decide to serve your audience you get to choose about the things that are important to you for you to be focusing on your business with the time and the energy that you have got right now and what i want for you to do is to think back to december like bring yourself forward to december 2020 and for you to be able to look back with a sense of pride and accomplishment of oh my god you know i definitely went to um you know i definitely went through all those emotions but actually came through the other side and this is how i showed up this is how i um grew my business in that time this is how i served my audience this is what i i, I made a stand for and this is what i consistently did and i showed up and it's allowed me to grow my business to this point and you know you may think oh well i'm only you know a small business it doesn't really matter what i do right now but it really does matter when we get back to business in the next you know weeks and months we it, the what happens within our small businesses is going to be essential for getting our economy back on track the thing is is that we're small we're we're like we're athletes aren't we we, we haven't got mass overheads we haven't got mass um, people that we employ, we're, we're, we're small, we're agile, we can react really quickly, we can take risks because we know like that might succeed, it might not succeed, but do you know what, we'll just keep going. We've got that resilience, we've got that passion, we've got that desire, and we've got the ability to, to just take action. We don't have to sit down with our um, board of directors, we don't have to sit down with our lawyers, we can just take action. And what I'm seeing within my clients is I'm seeing my clients pivot where they need to and take their, you know, um, their kind of face-to-face -face businesses online. And I've seen other clients come up with, you know, I've got a lady who offers purely um, massage on one side of her business, which is obviously a face-to-face -face, business that she can no longer run at the moment, but her clients have actually asked her to show up in a completely different way, which she is doing and she's still working with her clients. So there are all sorts of different ways that you can show up right now. Right now, it might be your content, it might be your desire to grow your audience. Actually, when you're back to business, you've got even more people that you can reach out to and put offers out there. I ran a 48 hour sale of the 5K Club, my uh, monthly membership last week, and attracted in a whole new load of clients. And that was like a launch without a launch. So this is what I mean about us being nimble. We'd be, we're small, we can take action. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We don't have to sit there with um, like big elaborate plans because we're small, because we're agile, because it's us in our businesses, which can feel scary, but right now it's also exciting we can take action like never before. I'm creating a brand new product that I would have never ever made time to actually create and I'm really, really excited about it. And then I know what else I'm gonna be doing in my business going forward as well. And it's, I've had to change, I've had to pivot, I've had to, like my plan, you can see it here. I've had to put it to one side, that was my whole plan for 2020. But that's okay, 
because we can. And this is what I really want to harness within anybody who's watching this now, is that you might be like on the floor, like absolute bereft because of everything that's happened, but I really want to like inspire you to start to look at your business, to start to think about, you know, when you look back in December 2020, what do you want to see? What do you want to see how you cope during this time? What you did, what you said, what you took action on and what you created for your audience and how you decided to show up. Because this time's gonna pass really, really quickly. And before you know it, you'll be back into business, back into life as, as you know it, and everything will be fast and chaotic and even more so maybe because people will be that desperate to get back to everything won't it so take the time now think about how you can show up as that brilliant agile nimble business owner where you can be innovative how you can take those risks that perhaps you've been like um procrastinating about just do it just take action and it's like uh, one of the things that i'm bringing back is my um inspirational interview a series i've been meaning to bring that back for about a year but this is the time to bring it back it's not going to be perfect it's not going to be polished but it's going to happen and this is the sort of action that we can all get into and i really wanted to kind of just share that with you share some of the things that i've been doing share some of the things that my clients have been doing and to really just say look you are brilliant you are why well placed to take risks to take action to take imperfect action make things happen be agile be you know kind of action taking and um and just really be proud of who you are and the way of you decided to show up during this time let's see what morgan said yeah so morgan's loving the idea of looking back and seeing how you um how you've decided to show up so thinking about that and thinking about looking back in December and being proud of what you've achieved and, and what you um, did. And um, Morgan said, yeah, take action. That'll be my sentence for today. Yeah, and I've got to be honest, we are in imperfect times, aren't we? Um, yesterday, I, I, I couldn't get on the internet. My son, bless him, 13, is on his Easter holidays. He's two rooms away from me, shouting on his Xbox to his friends. Number of times I went in and asked him just to pipe down because I couldn't concentrate. It was it was really not very nice for me to have to listen to that. And uh, in the end, I just switched everything off. I was like, do you know what? This is just not this is just not working for me. And I went outside and I spent some time in the garden. And I worked later on. So I'm having to f be flexible myself. There's little point in me expecting my family to be flexible, my children to be flexible, if I'm, I'm incapable of showing flexibility myself. So I'm, I'm having to learn, I'm having to, you know, I'm having to share my workspace with three other people, albeit that we're all in separate spaces, but I've got to share my Wi-Fi, and that's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? Um, but I really wanted just to share that with you and just say, look, you are perfectly placed as an entrepreneur to really, um, thrive in this situation and I, I'm not meaning it in a nicky way I'm not saying go out there and and I'm, I don't need to say any of those things because actually my audience my clients are, the, are not those sort of people you are people who only take aligned action you are passionate about your clients and about what the work that you do so I don't even need to say that to you because I know that that is not appropriate for you so I hope that's inspired you um, I've got lots of brilliant content for you I have been absent from this page in terms of videos because I've been busy working with my clients and as I said, creating a brand new product that is coming really, really soon. Um, but I have made a commitment. In fact, I have got it all mapped out here. It's one of the jobs that I had yesterday of all the brilliant content I'm going to bring to you via live. So my aim is to do um, every other day, come on here, share some content with you. Um, come and join me, come and catch up, leave me your comments behind. And uh, I would love to hear from you. If you've watched this and I've inspired you to take action, come and let me know. Drop me a PM, let me know, or um, comment on the, um, the comments box below. Have a really great Thursday. I'll see you all really soon. Bye for now.